Hey, what's going on, folks? Welcome back to the Oklahoma Cattle Cattle and Hog Farm. Oh, it's been a while. We, I might have been neglecting this farm a little bit. We're going to get back at it today. We're going to get things fixed up. we got a lot of work ahead of us. Things are things are a mess. Let's get to work. Pitter patter. <laughs> good to see you guys welcome back in did i really break this window huh that's weird yeah why did you do that <laughs> um, anyways welcome back into oklahoma guys it's been it's been a hot minute since we've been back to oklahoma in fact we've kind of been neglecting this farm and i really want to push this farm i really want to do more on this farm i love this farm layout we've got up here this cattle this hog farm we've got going on i just have been neglecting it and today hopefully we can kind of Take care of business here and get get to work. Oh, I'd love to take the ranch arrow for a cruise, but I don't think that's going to be in the cards for today. No, I I think we're going to be taking the, the old truck everywhere we go today. Uh, it is what it is. We've got to take take care of business here, guys. And well, the, this is going to be a little bit more suited for what we got to go take care of today. It's all animals all the time around here. So, like I said, I've been neglecting things just a little bit. It, it's not it's not as bad as you think. Oh, watch out, chickens! Watch out! What? No, I'm, I no, no flat chickens. No, watch out. But well, we have been um, just not really spending our time here. And you know what? We just got to get caught up today. Today's our, our goal is to get caught up. We got a lot of work to take care of. Like, for example, I've got the TLX still sitting out here, the Phoenix. It's still got a partial load of lime in it. It's filthy. Um, and I can't dump it in because our, our lime silo is full. The lime spreader is full here as well. Like everything is just full. I don't have space for any more lime. I need to. I need to figure out what the heck I'm going to do with this. Maybe I have to cart it over to one of the other silos. Or we'll just use a temporary storage silo for that. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that right now. Have I mentioned how amazing this truck is? Hey, uh, not to get personal, but what's a sweet ride like that cost, anyways? Oh, bad. Too good. And and super super loud. Holy. All right. Let's uh let's get this thing out of here. We'll take this over to the other silo system and we'll dump hopefully what we got in. We only have 21,000 liters. Not a lot. It's like one of those, uh, that spreader we have back there. It's like one, one fill for that. That's it. All right. That's, that's better. In fact, you know what? While we're here, let's see. Yeah, there we go. We'll use the old magical pressure washer. Uh, scrub this down to make it look a little bit better. Uh, it, it, it doesn't look nearly as good when it's covered in muck like this. This, this jet black, this matte black. Is it matte black? Jet black. Huh? I don't even know. It doesn't look nearly as good when it's uh when it's all covered in mud so we'll fix this on up make it look all pretty again see i do use the pressure washer all right that'll that'll work there let's head on back we'll just cut through the woods here just sneak on through we got to deal with our livestock it's all livestock today uh i've got like i said we got the hogs we got the cattle and we've got the chickens and the chickens i think are a little low on food oh they're not low on eggs look at all the boxes of eggs i gotta deal with oh yeah, yeah yeah that's uh that's a little on the low side let's let's take care of this first uh, a little blue. Where are you? Should be just in this shop here. Oh, <gasps> there we go. The the busiest rooster in farm sim right there. If you've been watching our live streams, you know what I'm talking about. There he is. Perfect. So like I said, guys, we've been kind of busy lately with, uh, well, all sorts of stuff going on. You know what? I'm still fine. I'm digesting FarmCon. I, st I still feel like we're digesting information we got from FarmCon. There was a lot of stuff to go over there. There was a ton of stuff to talk about. And uh, I feel like we're still kind of digesting everything. Watch out, chickens. I don't want to squish any of you. And we're getting there. We're getting there. I think we're we'll back to normal here and get some more content coming out. Just it's been a bit. It's been a hot minute. I apologize, but uh, it is what it is. We'll back at her now. Back into some farm simming. Back to working some farms. We got some more plans coming up here in the near future as well. Some stuff I think you guys are really gonna like. Let's start off by just cleaning this up here. Also, make note that uh, we did actually hit bronze level for Giants Partner, which was kind of a surprise to be honest. I was caught off guard a little bit. I, I don't really keep tabs on that stuff, and I don't really know how they all work to be honest with you. But uh, yeah, that's that's a thing that's happened. So um, does that just make a worse mess? Really ridiculous. I keep on. I just I just picked this all up, and I just dumped it back out again. <sighs> Can I not dump it in there? All right, that that looks a little bit better. Um, yeah, so anyways, Bronze Partner with Giants, so you know what, that's thanks to you guys. If you guys are, of course, looking for any FarmSim content, if you're looking to buy uh, any of the FarmSim DLCs for FarmSim 19 or FarmSim 19 still itself, you can go down in the description below, find the codes down below there and, and download it directly from Giants, and that goes back to kick, kick back for us as far as uh, with Giants itself. So 
Arms of 22 is just on the horizon as well, guys. If you're looking to pre-order that, you can find a download link just down in the description. But of course, that's a pre-order. Pre-order link. Don't, don't think you can download it quite yet. You'll just have a pre-order copy. That's all. Now, how many loads do I need to take? I can hold, what, 2,000-ish with this? Is it 2,000? I don't think it's that much even, is it? Is it even that much? I don't even think it's that much. Uh, we got 8,400. Oh, I can only hold 1,000. You know what? This is going to take us forever. Uh, you know what? We'll take the truck. That's it. We'll go dump this off. We'll get the truck. I, can, I always thought these were 2,000, but I always get them mixed up with the front loader. So yeah, that, that'll be an easy solution. We'll just get the truck. I think that should hold a bit more than 1,000 liters. Uh, it'll make uh, feeding these these, these uh, chickens a little bit quicker for sure. Let's just pull on over the grass. Just right over the grass. I should make a path through there, actually. And dumperoo. Uh, looks a little bit better. Hey, look, we got some food in the trough finally. See what happens, guys? We've been away from Oklahoma for so long. I forgot the whole reason I put this dump bed on this truck. There we go. That's a little bit better. 4,000 liters. That's way better. All right, let's go. Just nice and easy. And you know what? This actually works out better because I can toss those egg cartons in the back of this thing and get them to market that way a little bit better as well. A little easier than... Uh, I don't have anything better, actually. Well, the, I guess the ranchero. The ranchero would work as well, but this just makes more sense, I would think. And dump that all in. Perfect. All right, let's go... Um, Let's pull this thing out in front. You know what? I'm going to throw some egg cartons. Oh, that's a lot of egg cartons. Let's throw a bunch of egg cartons in the back of this thing for now. So we are up to about, what, three, almost 300, uh, 300 hens right now. Well, like two, 280 hens, I think it's, and one rooster is what we're at right now. Yeah, we've got a few hens. We're, we're making eggs pretty quick here. Uh, I don't know. I never do chi <sighs> chickens are not my thing. I find this part. We need to get some, we need to get some cartons, some, uh, some baskets for these eggs. Just to make my life a little bit simpler this is this is some tedious work right here all right that's um if you're expecting a clean load well you came you came to the wrong place for that you know that right sorry it's the best we can do oh. okay but before we head to market with all that um we gotta check out our hogs here i don't even know how many we got now uh i know we've had we've had some piglets we've definitely had more than a, than a few piglets over here but we're still a little shy i think we're only sitting at about i think it's 75 hogs right now and we got lots of room for them I would love to bump this up. Oh, you know what? Let's go put some water in that trough. Let's run out in front here. Like I said, I would really like to bump that up. And uh, there we go. Open that valve up and get a whole schwack load of hogs going through here. But I think it's going to take some time. We're not going to sell any off. I'm going to hold off selling these guys for the time being. They've got water. they got lots of food, it looks like, out there right now. We'll let them grow. I'm not going to start selling hogs yet. Uh, that'll be uh, that'll start making us some coin in a bit. This is going to be a bit more a long-term investment. Oh, it's going to take a bit of time, though, with those guys. They, eh, not too bad. It'll just take a couple days. Now, as for our other investment, the, uh, well, the cattle. We've got all the cattle coming up now. We're up to about 100 heads of cattle. Uh, we kind of invested fairly heavily in the cattle to begin with here. Let me just pull off to the side here. I don't think we have to clean up anything. Do we actually? Let me just double check the barn. No, the stalls are all looking nice and tidy in here. Has Gertie been in here working away? This looks really nice in here. Why couldn't you take care of the chickens for me? That's so tedious. <laughs> we got chickens to do and she took care of the cattle, I guess. But we're up to about 100 heads of cattle here, folks. So a lot of cattle going on. And I'm running a little shy on food. We need some more hay. <sighs> it's always the hay. So let's take care of that today. Oh, no. Here comes the rhymes again. Oh, please, no. P please. Let's go take care of some hay. And uh, we'll cut some grass. Cut some grass. And then uh, Ted and Windrow and pick it all up again. I think we're a little shy right now as far as that goes. That's going to be something that's going to run. And, uh, we're going to run into issues that we don't stay on top of with the amount of cattle I plan to have here very soon. So we need to hay when we have the chance. And like I said, guys, let me just pull this off to the side here. Well, we've been gone for more than a, than a while here. And our, our grass fields, they're all looking pretty lush. I mean, look at that. That's beauty. That is beauty. So we don't really have anything that's great yet for our haying options. Like we said, we're not going nuts on, on haying yet. We've got the Challenger and we've got a, uh, we've got a Swather. That's really, um, that's what we're doing right now. That's, that's the plan guys. There's nothing else. I don't even have TMR yet. I don't have a way of getting TMR. I need to find a, a faster way to do that. Uh, we need to find a way to mix it. I mean, we don't even have a silo system to set up silage yet. I, I think what we're going to do, this is my plan right now. Maybe we'll pick up an Anderson Bale wrapper and we'll do that. And we'll just, we'll do big, long swaths of, uh, swaths, big, long lines of those Bale sausages. But unfortunately, before we can do that, we really need to just, well, mow some hay. So New Holland, uh, New Holland Swather back here. We've got the challenger. It, it's what is it? it is what it is, guys. I wish we could do more with this. I uh, just don't really have the finances to pull off too much more yet. Let's get this out of the shop without getting that door. If I pull off this way. There we go. 
And then angle it around. Come on, baby. Get around the door. Yeah, there we go. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Perfect. Um, yeah, once we get enough hay, I, I, I'm, I feel like I'm behind on the hay in. But we'll get back to her. Uh, we'll go around to the right. That way we're not squishing any of our hay, of course. Drop this in. Right about there. How we looking? How we looking? Fire this thing on up. And drop her down. Looking good. Looking good, guys. All right. Get a couple headlands done in here so we can get into the middle of this. And uh, we'll start cutting all this up. Like I said, good size. This is a good size grass field for this, though. I'm, I'm actually pretty happy about this. And we're going to get... Oh, man. We're actually getting a pretty good a pretty good amount right now. Uh, I do, of course, need to make sure I ted this right away. We'll do it all right away. It's, it's going to be a nice hot day today, so we'll take care of it all. And then hopefully we can start picking this up. Perfect. No problems. All right. You know, this is a pretty good grass field. This is a, the best way to do this, isn't it? You get your hay field right next to your farm. I find that I like having it that way. If I have my hay field farther away, it ends up being so much more work because it's just... Well, you end up doing this several times per year rather than just typically one with your main fields, of course. And then you've got all the bales potentially it's just a lot more trips back and forth whereas if it's nice and close to your farm then you're just that much closer to save that much more time and it's i find this still to be a bit of work like we're gonna have a decent amount of grass off this and uh i don't really have the big equipment for this yet this is like the smallest thing i have we've got that big versatile with some big planting units we got the great plains but really for for cutting hay for, for our hay in season we don't have a lot of options yet and I, I don't know if I want to spend too much money on this, but even though we're pushing, like, this is going to be our main farm, do I really want to push this yet? I don't know. Man, it's, it's just going to take some time here. That's all, guys. And, of course, it, it works totally fine. So it's just a little bit of time. How much money are we losing because of time? Like, what else would I be doing? Nah, we're good. We're good. Let's bring it around the corner. All right. Away we go. Looks like we surprisingly missed more than I thought back uh, last season. Look at all the clumps of hay we got here. Oh, well, it, it, it's nice because it's just going to be added to this one. Just would be nice if I didn't miss this time. But we'll see what happens. But anyways, we're having some clumping issues down here in the bottom part of this field. Uh, must have missed something. It looks a little bit bizarre. We're getting some weird clumps of hay and grass and everything in between right now. As you can see through this field. It's all right. We'll see if we can pick up most of this. Hopefully we can pick most of this up. But uh, this is pretty much it for hand. Let's go uh, get Gertie out. Uh, I think I'll let her drive one of these pieces of equipment. We'll get a little blue out here. We'll do some wind rowing. We'll do some tedding with Challenger as well. Oh, I'm running low on fuel. Um, of course, right? But can I get through the rest of the harvest? Well, it's not really a harvest, I guess. The rest of this hay and job should be pretty close. All right, let's not forget to refuel this. Let's do that right now. I probably could have got through it all, but that's all right. We'll pull right on in, take off the cap, and, and hopefully we can refuel there we go let that refuel for a sec make sure you take that cap off on this one guys so here's the plan we got gertie she'll be set up on the uh the challenger with the wind roar wind roar re requires a little bit more power so it's better off to use the challenger for that we got little blue with the uh the tether which is just in here we just gotta squeeze on through lift this bucket up just a touch it looks like i'm kind of close and uh we'll back this on in nice and easy get around this the cedar the planter and you right there and uh we're good to go Back the sun up. Gertie, you good to go? Looks looks like she's uh, she's ready to rock, guys. Let's get this little blue set up. As she is, uh, she's raring to get into this field, looks like. She's got everything rocking back there. Let's unwrap this. Looks good. Drop that tether down. Excellent. All right. I think. Yep, that's going to work just fine. We'll lift that back up. Start it up. And uh, away we go. Nice and easy nice and easy this is a good spot to start right here to be perfectly honest right here drop that down and uh there we go guys we're making hay making hay away we go it is a great day for hay what's it to you well, it looks like we got a decent amount of hay here guys uh pretty happy with this once again you know what we know we're gonna get off this we've already done this once before that definitely was a decent amount should be enough for a few heads i don't know if it's gonna be enough once we get to like 500 head of cattle if this is gonna be enough hay to support us or not we're gonna we might need to find out some more solutions on that it's not like this is a massive field by any means but you'd be surprised how far you can go with the hay right but if we're doing silage if we're doing if we're doing silage if we're doing tmr then um well things could change pretty quickly you yep, pretty sure that haying is still my favorite thing to do i'm telling you i do enjoy haying there's something about haying season that's just ah satisfying getting all the grass to turn we get some bales out here 
Uh, you know what? We, we need to do some bales, guys. The more I like to think about this, the more I, I'm thinking. We're doing the loading wagon issue right now. Loading wagons do work, but I'm, I'm looking at it and I'm like, hey, you know what? I miss baling. I need to get some bales out here. Look at that. That looks great. Looks fantastic. Favorite favorite thing to do. I swear, this is my favorite thing to do. All right, that looks good. We'll wrap that on up over there. Gertie is... Well, she's on her last couple passes here. She's just wrapping things up, guys. We got a lot of... Uh, got a decent amount of hay. I'm, I'm happy. We'll get this all picked up in a bit. But you know what? I think instead right now, uh, let's finish off. We'll get, to, we'll get rid of all those eggs. We got a lot of eggs to get rid of first. So I think we've temporarily sorted out our food. I mean, look at the hay we got there. Those are some big windrows. Um, I think we've temporarily sorted our food issue for our cows at least. We'll get that at least in the silo. I don't know what I'm going to do. I, I think we're going to have to do some bales, guys. I really do. I enjoy baling way too much not to. So uh, that could be something we see on this farm. We got some bales. Anderson silage. Yeah, I think that's... I think that's what we got to do, isn't it? I think that's what we got to do. Anyways, let's get to town. Let's get these eggs sold off. Green Acres Market. So there you have it, guys. We're just going to head back over into town here. We've got to find the market. Sell these all these eggs off. I don't think we're going to make much money off them, but you know what? Whatever. We'll take what we can get. Like I said, I need I need to start saving some cash up so we can buy some of this uh, well, this higher-end equipment that I keep on talking about. If we want to do bailing, we got to save up a little bit of cash, I think. But anyways, folks, that's going to do us here today on Oklahoma Forex. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, you guys know what to do. Slap the like. Of course, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. But folks, I'll catch you next time as we see if we can get some of, these, some of these eggs. Let me pull ahead a little bit further. No, I'm going to have to unload. Ah, oh, that's a pain. Yeah, <laughs> total pain. Anyways, folks, have a great day, and we'll catch you next time. This is Clutch. Over and out. Come on, get. Grab. Get out of my, get out of my truck. Oh, such a, such a pain.